Well, hello friends. Today I am going to be sharing how I am organizing this unit that I have here in front of my desk. Hello, my name is Belinda. I'm the founder of Organize and Bless Mom and I'm back with another creative idea. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will know when any video is posted. So I wanted to start by showing you where this unit is. This unit is right here in front of my desk. So it is uh, directly the thing that I look at uh, every time that I sit at my desk to craft or to journal. So that's one of the reasons why I do have a little bit of decoration here at the top of it. But I wanted to show you like all the different um, materials that I have here. So most of this unit is uh, just houses ephemera and paper, but I'll, get, I'll give you um, just a detailed tour of it. So the first thing I have here is my Epson um, Picture Mate PM400. It is my photo printer. I love it. I just got it I believe I got it last year, but it is a wonderful, uh, wonderful color printer. It prints up to five by seven. And uh, I do all my printing here at home now that I have it and I love it. So you'll see a couple of things, uh, supplies that go with that. And then here is my vision board um, that I showed um, on Instagram. I have some of the flowers here that I use for my pictures. I just kind of like to see them there as decoration. I also have this beautiful picture that I love looking at. It says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. It's something that I got at Marshall's and then a little um, blessed uh, decoration here. Here on this, um, so this unit here, this whole um, this whole unit and also my desk are from Wayfair. So this unit right here with the drawers can sit on that edge of the desk, and you can um, so you can screw it in so it won't um, move. But you can also put it on top of this uh, storage shelf. And so I opted for putting it here because I like to have my desk nice and um, I like to have a lot of area on my desk to work. So let's go through the different things I have here. First of all, I have this box from uh, scrapbook.com and it uh, is for cards or any kind of storage. And it did come with a little divider. So I have all kinds of cards. I I love cards, but I usually don't do a lot of pocket albums anymore. I have a couple of them that I um, could go back to, but I hold all my cards in this little uh, caddy and it fits really, really nice. Next, I have my collection of ephemera. So I like to put all my ephemera in these little photo boxes. So these photo boxes you can find, like I buy them at Michael's and they just hold all the collections so you can see it's kind of hard to open it with one hand but all the, the whole collection for this ephemera i have it in this box and i usually label it with my label maker so that if i'm looking for a specific collection i can just come and find it and just you know take it to my desk work on it and just enjoy those little pieces. I like to see all my choices before picking out what I like. I also like to keep the paper so that I know what brand it is and which icons came or which ephemera pieces came with that. This is um, just some beautiful uh, collections that I found at a Tuesday morning. Here I have a lot more collections. I have some Christmas, just a, a small little Christmas uh, stickers. And then these are all my fall cards and fall stickers. Here is Bungalow Lane, just all the cards that go with that. This is Pink Parasol, it goes with my 
ephemera from my paper pad that I use all the time from Michaels. This is um, the Valentine collection. Anything that has to do with Valentine's, I put it in here. This is another collection that I uh, kind of put together. It, it says just chill. So it used to have like a summer collection and then I just kind of started throwing different things in there. Here is like a garden collection that I used to have, and I have a lot of little garden miscellaneous things in there. Also, easier to do it this way. Uh, so this is a P13 collection. This is all of my P13 different ephemera. I love that brand. Here's a bunch of Heidi Swap things. This is a really cool collection from Echo Park. It's called the Day Day in the Life. It's really really nice um, collection. And then at the end here, I have just some um, paper for my my photo paper. And then I have a couple more photo papers. And what is this? This is five by seven paper, I believe. Yeah. So I got I have some of my supplies there so let me show you my drawers okay so in this first drawer I have um, just a collection of tapes and then some some um, replacements for the Tombow there's double-sided tape there's glue dots I have just glue different tape runners uh, these are some things um, to cut to replace my paper cutter. I have a knife here, a little stapler. I have a different hole punches, big, big hole punches. And I do have this card deck from Allie Edwards. It's like a mindful card deck. I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it there. <laughs> All right, here's drawer number two. On um, here, I just have like supplies. So I have this, um, what is it called? It's for my tape runner. It's just an extra one. I always have to have an extra one because I use it so much. I do have my Canon Ivy when I want to print out a photo really quick. I mostly don't use it since I have a new photo printer. I do have some glue, glue dots and stuff like that. And then I have all kinds of like, um, things for my pocket album so this is like a stencil to cut out different sizes of photos and then different size I have bags here and this is all just like uh, supplies for my photo albums I still I still have a couple albums that I want to finish and so I do have that supplies there I have more photo paper and then this is my memory my punch for my disc planner really handy and then i have some more paper here for for the ivy and some tools there to cut and then my ink for my printer because it says it's low so i have an extra one all right so coming down here to this side I have uh, some more ephemera collections. I have like uh, all kinds of things to do with Christmas. And then I do have this collection called Days of Splendor. I normally don't use a lot of this collection. I used a lot of paper, but some of the ephemera that's uh, still there, it's because it's too bulky and I don't want to bulk up my planners or my journal this collection i really like but those stickers are so so bulky i'm trying to see if maybe i can incorporate them in some of my um albums that i'm still trying to finish up from 20 2020 i think <laughs> all right so then coming on next is um just paper pads so i have all my paper pads close by i also have this paper pad and I also have here my December daily from 2022 that I need to complete and then here I have just a collection of 
uh, just memory album. So I have my memory journal. I don't even remember what year was this. This one is totally complete. 2021. And then I do have a couple of... So this is May. This is just the Mother's Day weekend. I did an album. I was just kind of playing around. I do have a whole album that I finished here for May and June. But I have this empty one. I have this one from September of 2021 that I started but I haven't finished. This is my December daily for 2021. And then this is like a December... I believe I showed this. I should have flipped through this one. This one is kind of... Um, I think this is the reason why I have not finished. My, my December daily is done. I just need to journal. But I did all the journaling in here. So it's kind of like I did double work. But um, anyways. These are on December 2021. And then on this side, I have um, just a just blank album so I have here um, a blank album I have another album here that I haven't used and then another like traditional scrapbook album I kind of buy things and sometimes they just sit here and wait for me to be ready to use them and then here I have just different kind of papers I got vellum sticker paper um, just white paper for the printer and then i do have um another paper pad that i'm trying to use and these are just small just small little paper pads here in case i need some and then i do have more memory things so i do have a album that i started uh it was it's 2020 <laughs> <laughs> I need to finish that one too. I got different mementos um, from different uh, years. I have paper scraps here. I, I really like the way this works. If um, I have, let's see if I can bring it out a little bit here. So from the different collections, what I do is I have like a pocket and then I just put the different scraps by color or by collection and that just helps me for example this is all my fall scraps so I can just go to that folder when I need it and um, you know Christmas collections all kinds of collections all right and then this is just different um, memory planners and different things I've done for example this is like a reading a uh, memory planner that i started this over here is um this is all my memories from when was this 2022 so i did have i did journal and put pictures in there and then i continued with a memory memory journal of 2022 and then um more 2022 so all this is 20 2022 and that is the end of all the things i have in this unit here in my office well friends that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for coming to watch how i organized um this little unit I hope it gives you ideas to organize your supplies. I like having all or most of my paper and ephemera here all together and then having everything to do with cards and uh, photo printing all in one section. As always, if you like the video, please leave it a like. And uh, if you want to leave me a nice comment, I will always appreciate those as well. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.